ivory. Its beauty is also its curse. The African elephant is loved, revered and respected by people and cultures around the world. Yet due to severe poaching, Tanzania is on the brink of seeing the very last of this magnificent creature. The country has lost 60% of its elephants, but recently has been fighting back. Okay, I would say it's definitely much better compared to only three, four years ago. Things have improved uh, tremendously on the side of law enforcement. Uh, unfortunately, as a reality, we have lost thousands of elephants in the past. Over the last two years, Tanzania has made more than 1,400 arrests and seized more than 400 firearms. 40 vehicles used in ivory poaching have been confiscated and 36 prison sentences issued. It's not just in Tanzania. Anti-poaching operations in the East African region have intensified. Last year, Kenya held the world's biggest ivory burn, setting alight 120 tons. This campaigner calls on everyone to take part in the fight. We are the owners. We have our park rangers. We have our resources. We have this wildlife. We are the ones to care. And we have the duty to, 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 to protect them for the future generations. Because we inherited and we have the duty to protect them for our kids and our grandsons and children. The introduction of special anti-poaching canine units, aerial surveillance and unmanned drone patrols are helping. But the journey will be a long one. There have been more arrests and increased awareness in Tanzania on the issue. However, the global demand for ivory is still high. And campaigners say that until this is changed, the fight to save the giants of the savannah will go on. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.